Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of I sent uh, a DM to Kenyan celebrities and this this is this were the responses I got. I want to start off the video by offering a full disclaimer. The thumbnail I used on my first video, that was just uh, a, a funny thumbnail. Elodie Zondin actually texted me. She hasn't texted me since. It's been, I think, five days now and I'm still left on no response. No, she hasn't even opened it. So. Let's go down to the rest of them. So it's been now 72 hours. I messaged 60 celebrities, brands, YouTubers, influencers, musicians, and out of the total, I can actually say that I got seven replies. Yee, that's not so good. That's not so good for Kenyans. That's really not so good. The DM we were all waiting for is the one from KFC Kenya. Or is, or is it just me who was very passionate about this? I wanted KFC Kenya to respond to me and they actually did and here's the response which I can show you here. Hello, thank you for expressing your interest in working with us. However, we are not looking forward to partner at the moment. We wish you all the best in your endeavors. How stupid would it be for Edgar Barre to DM KFC? How stupid would I be not to DM chicken in or Ken Chick after three years of not eating fried chicken? That's stupid guys, that's stupid. Use your common sense. That's stupid of me. How crazy would I be with my crazy love of chicken to not DM chicken in? Ah, damn it. Huh? Is this camera on me? KFC, why are you playing with me? Why are you playing with me? This is not me. Y'all can't do this to me. I'm fucking for my fire fucking life here. Damn. You're killing me with this shit. I gave you 10 years, 10 years of my chicken eating career. Fuck. Damn it. And you're trying to kill me? You're killing me, man. Fuck. This is not about any social media. This is about chicken huh? and I'm trying to have a relationship with my fried chicken and now I can't do that anymore <laughs> you're killing me man you're killing me you just don't want to see the truth <gasps> did KFC just change their minds while I was fil filming this little R. Kelly tantrum <laughs> uh, so here's the new message from KFC and it, it goes like um, hi Edgar thanks for reaching out to us kindly send us a proposal and we'll and we'll be sure to get back to you huh. did KFC just change their minds did KFC just the power of social media the power of social media so the next person to respond to my DMs was Maxine Obosha and I DM'd her for the first time on 23rd April 2018. It was just a month after starting my channel and I wanted to get some YouTuber tips because I was just new and fresh and I wanted to get um, I wanted to get advice from a bigger YouTuber on how to do this shit and how to get famous and popular to grow really quickly. So Wabosha was kind enough to reply back and tell me that I guess the fastest you know, the fastest way to grow for her was sharing out all her links to the different groups. Wabosha is a very sweet girl. We love you, Obosha. One of the things I came to realize, uh, the bigger I grew, is you, you realize so many small YouTubers do these things, do this thing of reaching out to bigger content, content creators and trying to ask for help, advice, and it's really, like, I can understand why creators do not respond back. And this is one of the biggest mistakes smaller YouTubers make. You ask bigger creators from a place of selfishness. They, they always write things like help me, do me a favor, how do I grow my channel, mentor me, which is, a, which is the easiest way to get a no from anyone else. Instead, if you're a small creator, it's better to think outside of yourself and think about how, how can you benefit them, propose an idea to them on what you want to work on together and that is more likely to get a yes from whichever creator you reach out to. So don't just be me, 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 me. Think outside yourself. That was what Wabosha Maxine. I DM'd her happy birthday and she said thank you and happy birthday again Wabosha. So the next person I, who re responded to my DMs was Natalie Tower and as you guys noticed she actually responded while I was making the first video and 
bless her heart, bless her heart. So I asked her if she's dating again. She she just literally said in summary that no. So guys, Natal Tower is still available. Go shoot your shots, but be respectful and give her some space. I think she needs to, she needs she needs some time. She needs some time. The next creator I DM'd was Seth Gore, and Seth Gore is a comedian on Instagram, and I, I think of him as a celebrity because I love his stuff. And I DM'd him, hi Seth, I love your work, would love to collaborate on a video soon, and don't be afraid to join YouTube as you seemed afraid in that Chipukizi interview, I can show you the ropes. Huh? Now, now, now I'm a verified YouTuber. And he, he, he replied back, sure bro, and yeah, Seth, love you man. Keep doing, keep doing what you're doing. You bring so much humor and so much laughter to so many Kenyans and I appreciate you. Thank you for responding to DMs from a normal Kenyan DM. Thank you. And the next celebrity to respond back was Adele Onyango. Adele Onyango was a radio presenter on KISS 100. She did that gig for around seven years, doing breakfast shows for all of us and making us laugh, having with us conversations. And she just recently quit. And on this, I can say, Adele Nyango, good luck on your next endeavor. I, I support you. I think so many of us Kenyans support you. Go, go find that that you want to do with your life at the moment. Change is an inevitable. Where at whatever point in life you are. So I hope you find your next chapter and you're happy with it. Thank you for being on our Kenya Radio. So I DM'd her, hi Adele, enjoy our work. Would love to get your thoughts on project I have for my channel. And she responded back, hey, I, I've, I've watched your videos before. Cool, let me know. P.S. I may take ages to reply, but I'll try not to. My DMs get so full. Huh. Adele Nyango watches my videos. <laughs> And the next celebrity I DM'd who is a YouTuber was Wahura Kabuda. I DM'd her asking her, Hi Wahura, who do you think, do you think you're funnier than me? What do you guys think? Is Wahura funnier than me? Huh? 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 <laughs> and, she, and she responded by saying, Hi, I'm dead. I mean, what do the streets say? So, guys, who is funnier? Me or Wahura? And how do we qualitatively prove this fact. Huh? Give me your ideas, write for me ideas in the comments. How do we prove who is funnier here? I'd, I'd really love to find this out. We have to settle this. And Wahura just recently won the Bake Awards vlog of the year and congratulations Wahura, you deserve it. You deserve it, congratulations. And the last person on my list who responded was Karis Memes and this is a guy who puts out a lot of memes on Instagram and he's gotten pretty popular by his kind of humor and I DM'd him this uh, Hi Karaoke, I enjoy your work, I love your sense of humor, how does it feel being the king of memes in Kenya? How much work do you even put in every day to find them? And he responded by saying, Hi Ed, thank you for the endorsement. Well, I usually dedicate time and do research to find that unique content. I love doing it, so it's really not so much of an effort. And yeah, thank you Karis. Keep doing what you're doing. Guys, follow him on Instagram. His, his handle is Karis Memes. I find him such a humble person and such a funny person to be doing this, like running a meme account, it's not that easy, and staying relevant. I think he posts two or three memes a day and I stand. Karaoke, I stand. Those are all the people that replied to my DMs and I think I, I got a few lessons from doing this experiment and I'd like to also give it some context so that my audience or whoever will watch this, you don't just see whoever did not respond as, I guess, bad people or anything. Like, our accounts look very different. And I wanted to give it context, like, there's the Instagram account that most of us regular people have, and then there's this some, something called a creator Instagram account, which looks very different from the usual hours. And I can show you a video to explain further into this, and let me roll the clip now. Now up next, we've got the new DM inbox, which is also sick, by the way. I can now filter my DMs, which is something I've wanted for a while. To be honest, I would really like this on my personal profile a lot more, but it's still really useful on this one. So I do really hope that the Instagram creator account rolls out to everyone, because it would be awesome. But basically, you've now got a primary inbox and a general inbox. For an example, if you wanted to, you could sort out all your business DMs into your primary inbox, and then all your friends, 
friends and other just normal chats into your general or vice versa and then everyone in your general inbox um, you don't receive notifications for however you can switch them on if you want all you have to do is go to your notification settings within the Instagram app and you can easily switch them on then. But yeah, to filter your messages, you just have to open up a chat with someone and then you tap the little information eye in the top right corner of that chat and then you just tap the move button to move them between the primary inbox and the general inbox. And they don't receive a notification of when you move them and they don't know where they are in your inboxes. So it's all private to you basically. And there's also been an update to the message requests. You can now sort them by top request and then all requests. I think top requests is where Instagram puts the most important message requests first. And I think they see important messages um, as messages from people that have a high following. I'm not 100% sure about that though, but if you just take a real quick look at my message requests, you can see it goes in order from the follower count. And also, I think that's something new. I don't remember being able to see the follower count from the people that messaged me straight within my message requests. So, um, I'm not too sure if that was there before, but if that's an update, I mean, that's pretty sick. It's really handy anyway. So with this experiment, yes, there are some who will literally not see your DMs, but they get them. And the way you've seen the way the Creator Studio, like DMs are filtered and the people with the most followers filter to the top so celebrities are more likely to see other celebrities in their dms or people who are very verified accounts or so people with just big follower accounts probably if i dm some someone like uh who lupita nyongo i'm probably the number three thousandth dm that she has and in no way she's scrolling all the way to the bottom honestly no way so like with celebrities like kenya yes they don't have such big numbers but i can understand that there are some who they probably saw my dm but they're too scared to open it and respond two they probably never saw my dm and they don't know i exist anyway so i'm just like most of you <laughs> and three what's option three what's option three i guess yeah the ones who just saw my dm and just don't give a shit then there's those ones like <clears throat> Let me not name names, let me not name names. So one of the biggest lessons from this experiment is in the society we live in right now, people are measured by numbers. It is either they're measured by follower accounts or by money they have in the bank account. And this is such a sad world that we live in now that your worth is measured by who who is following or what's in your bank. I think there's more to people and there's more that makes a person than I guess what the clouds they have collectively. I guess just my opinion for these seven celebrities which i can list now thank you thank you for responding to my dms and being part of the social experiment i wish you all the luck in your careers and i hope you stay i hope you all stay celebrities and for the ones who didn't reply in my dms it's fine it's fine i'll see you guys when i reach a hundred thousand and we can talk about this again we can hash this out again so <laughs> i love you guys Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.